Hey guys, welcome back to Set Streets and Eats. I'm Chris Bauer. So a few months ago, I stopped in Rockford, Illinois to see the last rocker stage at Chuck E. Cheese. Um, it was the last of its kind, only one left, and uh, it has since, of course, been torn out, but um, I was able to stop and see it before that happened. So until today, that was the rarest Chuck E. Cheese stage I had seen. Today, I'm gonna see the second rarest. I am here in Springfield, Illinois, in front of Chuck E. Cheese, and for all you cheesophiles, you already know exactly what we're about to go see. So I'm excited to get in there. Let's go. Jasper! Pasquale! So behind me is the CU1 stage. So this stage looks a little bit different from what we've been seeing. So you see it's under the name Chuck E's Make Believe Band instead of Munches. Um, they actually, these look older, but they actually started putting these in in 2010. Originally, this was going to be the solution. Uh, they were going to change over all the three stage systems they had left into this. They were going to do a single stage, put the same characters right on a single stage. The expense of doing that for basically the same show, plus the um, Circles of Light stage coming out that was much flashier and cheaper, kind of negated the whole plan. But not until they put three of these stages in nationwide. Only three of them. Whitehall, Pennsylvania, and Columbus, Georgia are the other two, and here in Springfield, Illinois. But this is only one of three. What makes these in particular very special is these are original creative engineering animatronics. These used to be the Rock of Fire explosion. They took all their skins off in the early 90s, replaced them with the Chuck E. Cheese characters. The rest is history. But underneath there, these are Aaron Fector's creations. They're the last ones in Illinois. They're still very rare to find. But you can almost imagine that used to be Duke. Beach Bear. Of course, my favorite, Fats. Mitzi and Ralph. I'm sure they've gone through upgrades or whatever, but their their actual skeletons are creative engineering, and uh, that's pretty spectacular. But right now, you can still see these. These have been slated for demolition for the dance floor demolition late next year, late 2023. So you've got plenty of time, year and a half to come see this really awesome stage set up and actually see all the five characters. The other sad fact about this stage, this was the last five character stage considered and built. After the Circles of Light stage came out, they quit even thinking about doing anything new for the five characters. It was just Chucky based. And then with a few years, they had come up with a dance floor solution and wanted to get rid of all the animatronics. So that's pretty much the end of that. And uh, this is a very unique stage to come see. You can hear some air escaping. Like a doll's eyes.
So I have to say, give a shout out to Will, the, uh, one of the employees here. Uh, he showed me a few little behind the scenes things like Pasquale's mustache and some of the uh, mechanics on Helen and of course underneath Jasper uh, seeing the uh, all the valves and air working and all that. There's a, definitely some air leaks in it. It's not in the greatest shape, but it's actually in really good shape considering that you, these used to be rocket fires. Um, I mean, these things are really old, much older than a lot of the regular Chucky animatronics that I've seen that haven't worked great. And these guys are still kicking, at least until next year. So like I said, you're gonna wanna plan a trip and you can see the Whitehall, Pennsylvania one or Columbus, Georgia one, if that's closer to you. However, out of the three CU1 stages, this one is widely considered to be the best one to see and in the best shape. So um, you might wanna take that into account, but uh, yeah, one of three until the end of next year and then they will be gone forever. I do like these postcard pieces of art from 2001. They're pretty cool. You know, it would be really cool if they actually sold these as a set of postcards. Or I guess had them for tickets. I bet more adults would try to uh, win them. Pretty good looking store. Oh. Of course it does, yeah. Those are great. You got the old uh, derby cap. Whoop. Yep, that's still, still original. Oh, the three stage, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because it's three stage till 2010. Huh. That's cool. Definitely out of the 90s for the backdrop. We got Pasquale. And there's old Chuck up there. 90s Chuck with his backwards hat. Helen. And Munch. Got the old lights. Yeah, and uh, Pasquale's drum is one of a kind. The swirl is the only one. Yeah, I forget who made the skins of these. Which company? Yeah, they're old. Will was also telling me that they think this place is haunted. Uh, there's been several sightings of like a shadow moving, uh, them cleaning off a handprint on one of the games and it re reappearing right away. Um, and then a couple uh, instances of things being thrown when no one's there. So, looks like Chuck E. Cheese might be built on a poltergeist. All right, that was pretty cool. That was a very unique stage. I really liked that. It definitely had the uh, the old school feel of the old showbiz and then Chuck E. Cheese days. And honestly, for a Thursday afternoon, pretty good, uh, pretty good crowd in there. I talked to a couple of people that were watching the show, and they were reminiscing about the Rockefeller and 
and they agreed that animatronics are still a draw for bringing people in. So I know that Chuck E. Cheese corporate is gambling on these dance floors and that no one's going to miss the animatronics, but I don't know. I feel like that's gonna end up biting them because uh, these were established with these bands. It's kind of their identity. I know they're trying to transition. I can't blame them for that, but we'll see if it works for them. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, trip and seeing a CU1 stage, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.